continuation on graphing logarithmic functions. Um, in the previous video, we saw the general shape and these critical points, the x-intercept, asymptote, domain, and range. We also saw, well, uh, brief sketches of what the transformations might look like. So we had the reflection along the y-axis, reflection along the x-axis, vertical and horizontal shifts or translations. And we also saw how you might use the calculator and a table of values to uh, sketch a logarithmic function by hand. But as I mentioned in the previous video, it's actually a lot easier just to sketch this using a, um, a, a graphing program. So I'm going to demonstrate to you very briefly what this might look like. So I'm going to be using GeoGebra here. I'm going to first input in f of x equals ln of x. In case you've forgotten, ln is just a special um, way of writing log base e of x. So let's type that in. So for this, it'll be f of x is equal to log. And now this automatically asks you for different um, values. We are looking for log with base b of x. So log of base e is what we're looking for. We'll just change this to x. Here's a much more accurate um, uh, sketch. Well, it's a graph now, actually. It's no longer a sketch because this is graphing it 100% accurately for us. So there is log uh, f of x equals ln of x or log base e. So let's graph f of x equals ln of x plus 1. Now, be very careful in the notation of this not to mistake this for ln of x plus 1. Okay, so these two are entirely different. So be very mindful as to the notation of the function. So let's, so let's uh, graph this one here, ln, ln of x plus 1. Again, we'll just, we'll just do, we'll make this g of x equals log base e of x plus 1. So be very careful how you input that in. There it is. Notice how everything shifted upwards. So when this was at 1, it is now, oh sorry, when this is at 0, it is now at 1. We can also take our last one, um, f of x equals ln of minus x. So let's make this h of x equals log of base e of negative x. Once again, notice how it's reflecting uh, to the left versus the original gray one here. So really, I hope that gave you an insight into utilizing um, more GeoGebra in, in how the function may look. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.